Hello guys, welcome to last episode of Full Stack Dart and in this video I want to show you how we can use share code between our backend and our frontend. For example, I want to create a user class and we know that because our backend and our frontend, both of them is Dart and actually we can use the share code. For example, I want to create a user class and I want to use this user class, my front end and from my back end. I will show you. All right. And I want to attach a package to my back end. In here, you can see my back end is in here. I want to go to my files in here, test dots. And you can see in here, I have it. This is my project. This is our project in here. And this is empty. Uh, folder. I want to create a folder in here I call backend and move all of these items to this backend. Okay. And I want to back and I want to create another folder I call shared. This is my shared code. And I have another folder that I will create it um, with uh, flutter command. Let's create it now. And you can see in here, I want to create an empty flutter create front end. Okay. And in here, I have a front end with flutter. In this shared, I want to create a package that I will show you. Let's remove this shared, move to trash. And I want to open this to my VS code. Okay. This is our back end. We know that we create this backend before, and this is our front end. But I want to create a Dart package because this uh, shared code is a pure Dart. We don't have any Flutter section because we know that for backend we have a Dart, and in Flutter we have Dart. And for that, we need Dart application. We need a Dart code. Okay. I want to create a new project and this new project it's need to be a Dart package okay and I want to create it here I need to remove this I'm sorry full stack this isn't for yeah in here create in here I call shared and is created but I need to run this and you can see in here I have backend we see that before we have an empty project this is has only a main uh, with uh, counter application and in here I have my shared and everything need to be in here and in here I have some export it doesn't matter for now but let's create our share code. I want to create a share user. All right, I said before this user, it's not good for us because it's generated by, by Prisma and uh, contain password. And I don't want to have this structure in my shared code. I don't want to have uh, this uh, user as a uh, data structure in my application. And I want to create another user. And I want to define this user for both front end and back end. And in here, I want to remove this. And I want to create another folder, another folder, for example, model. And in here, I want to create a user. For example, in here, I have a user. And let's call it shared user. It's it's not good name, but let's define shared user. But I want to call it user. And in here, I want to have final string uh, name or first name and final string last name. And yeah, this is my user. Okay, it's but. I want to define and I, I need to export this model user. Okay. 
I'm exporting, exporting my user and I have access to this user, for example, in my backend and frontend. Let's add this package. This is my package. Let's remove this test. And I want to remove this example. I don't need it. And I want to, in my backend, let's bring it in my PubSpec YAML. And we need to add our shared in here. Let's add it. We know that we have a shared and we have a path. We need to add this address. This is in shared or I think, yeah, shared. And I think it's good for now. Let's see what's happening here. Debug console output. Yeah, you can see this is added in my dependencies and I can use this shirt. Let's check. We know that this is for my shirt and if I go to and I want to create another road in my backend. Let's go to the terminal cd backend dart frog neo roads shared test okay this is for testing and I want to go to my roads shared this is my test okay and in here I want to create my user let's see what happened and you can see in here I can import this user from my Prisma client that's we know that we have this before but now I have another user and if I create a user let's create final user and equals user shared name and shared last name okay and I have this okay and I can for example add a body for example, it's, it doesn't matter. We know that we have access to this user, but let's see what happened when I want to run my Dart Frog. Dart Frog dev. In here, I have a problem because when you want to create your server, you can see all path dependencies must be within the project. When you want to create your server in Dart Frog, you will get error about that because you can't add path dependency. You have to add it in your project, in your folder. But for example, another uh, we can uh, add a hack for that, something like hack, I can say. And in this way, you can post you can push your code in your Git repository. I will show you one example in here. It's uh, one of uh, my testing code in here. If I show you, you can see. I will use this. And after that, you can access to, to this with your Git. I want to show you. Okay, and or what, this is this is this is one of your choice, but you can move your uh, shared folder in your package in your uh, Dart Frag project. But I'm deciding to uh, for testing. I want to use. Elise. And you can see I copy and paste, replace all these. And this is, uh, this is I didn't uh, push this code. This is my, uh, one, of, one of my example you can see in my GitHub repo. And I am using uh, this user from my Git repo. And in here I have error because I don't have any user like that we see. We need to add password, uh, we need to add an ID, shared, and shared. We need to 
single code. Okay, this is unused. And I have this user. This user is it has freezed package and it doesn't matter for now. This code is for my, you can see this is for last month. This is for my Git repository. And I can easily use this, exactly this shared code uh, from my, you can see I can copy and paste from my front end. Respect YAML. And add it in here. This is my front end code, okay? I want to check something in my output, yeah. And for example, in my lib main, I can create a user in here, final user. And you can see this user is exactly same data. Very nice to your exactly same code in your backend and your frontend. But uh, if you work on your Flutter uh, uh, Flutter code, you can you can see this public speaking for frontend. You can use a path. It's you don't have any limit in here, and we know that it's insured. And if I run again, you can see I will get error. And this user is uh, our shared user, okay? And yeah, this is a very simple way that you can use same code in your uh, backend, frontend, or multiple projects. For example, you can create a package and use in every Dart code you have. For example, if you have backend and frontend with Dart, you can easily use shared code and remove duplicate code. You didn't need to, for example, create user class in your JavaScript for backend or another Dart user for your frontend. It's very easy way. Uh, it uh, will be our uh, last episode in these uh, three videos about full stack Dart and I'm uh, uh, trying to create a mini course for testing and block state management. And I want to, before uh, block uh, state management and block architecture, I want to show you and I want to uh, add some summary about state management in a general purpose. And I want to show you and I want to mention what is exactly uh, state management, and I want to, uh, for example, C block, C getx, C river pod provider, and some uh, popular state management, and see what's happened when we are talking about state management. All right, thank you for watching, and if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Thank you. Goodbye.